and a pair of clever crooks in the case of murder a la carte. I invite you to hear Mr. District Attorney, which follows immediately on NBC. WMAQ NBC in Chicago. The big story tonight at 9 is about the missing chemist who was found by reporter Ike McAnally. His newspaper big story was the winner of the $500 big story award. Then stay tuned at 9.30 for curtain time and at 10 o'clock for supper club. Ipana Toothpaste and Sal Hepatica present... Mr. District Attorney, Champion of the People, Defender of Truth, Guardian of our fundamental rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Mr. District Attorney is brought to you by Ipana Toothpaste and Sal Hepatica. Ipana for the smile of beauty. Sal Hepatica for the smile of health. Ipana, Sal Hepatica. And it shall be my duty as District Attorney not only to prosecute to the limit of the law all persons accused of crimes perpetrated within this county but to defend with equal vigor the rights and privileges of all its citizens. Mr. District Attorney, and tonight, the case of murder a la carte. Hey, Stanley, will you cut it out? Stanley, you boob! Yeah, Hannah? For the love of Pete, stop that hammering. I'm trying to concentrate on the racing form. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I was just finishing this here little ran house. Yeah, yeah, you and your bill. Finishing a what? This ran house, Hannah, you see? I I put a number five hinge in the bottom so you can clean it out. You're nuts. You know what, Stanley? A ran house. What for? Well, we won't always live in this small apartment, dear. I want to have so many things ready when we get a home in the country. I swear I married an idiot, hammering, sawing his kisser full of nails. Sit still, I'll get it. It might be a wren. Oh, I'll I'll use the sandpaper, dear. It won't disturb you. Hello? Hannah? Nikki. Oh, hi, Nikki. I gotta talk fast, Hannah. I have to get back to my table. Yeah, I'm listening. Mr. and Mrs. Mallory are here for dinner again. You got the name? Mallory. I just brought them a bottle of Cordon Rouge on the house. Understand? How long will it take him to drink it? An hour, at least. Probably more. All right, what's the address? Jefferson Towers, apartment 16. You got that? Right. Look for a mink, silver fox cape, and a platinum dyed stole. Oh, yes, and a ruby necklace. She is not wearing it tonight. Not bad, Nicky. Send him another bottle. They'll need it when they get home. That's my girl. Good luck now. Bye, Nicky. Hey, useless. Stanley. Hey, look, Hannah, you see how it would hang in a tree? Like a dead duck, darling. Now get shaved and dressed, will you? We're going out on a job. You got nothing on the street, Harrington? No, not a thing, Chief. Mm. I even covered some of the boys on the retired list. Well, it doesn't help, does it? Huh. I'd counted on picking up a lead. Well, in the first place, there's no pattern in these robberies. Hmm. Take the fur coat boys now. They wouldn't be seen dead heisting jewelry. I know. Still, that's what's happening. Dead? I had Mr. and Mrs. Mallory in here an hour ago. Oh, the ones that got robbed last night? Yes, that's right. They had dinner at some nightclub, and when they got back to the Jefferson Towers, it was all over. Hmm. What's the loot? I ain't seen the list. Mink coat, silver fox cape, the fur stole, and ruby necklace, hmm. same as the others. Oh, oh, boy, the papers ain't going to be fun. Hmm. This is five in a row in all riches. Yes. Oh, golly, Chief, I... Sorry, I took so long. Oh, no, it's quite all right, Miss Miller. How did the meeting go? Well, the meet, actu- meet, what meeting, Miss Miller? Your poker club again? I'm out for spring baseball practice, Harrington. <laughs> didn't you know? <laughs> no, I went to the Girl Scouts luncheon. Oh. oh, they're a wonderful organization. This is their 37th anniversary, you know. Yes, yes. Yes, it is a fine group, Miss Miller. After we've finished, I'd like to hear about their plans. All right. I'll get my notebook. Yeah, I wish there was something to take notes about. 
Well, our best bet now is to find that pattern, Harrington. Mm. Five robberies, all of them prominent or wealthy residents. Yeah, all of them good addresses too, Chief. Yes, and in all five cases, expensive loot. Mm. Uh, let's have the five folders, will you please? Yes, I was just getting them. Here you are. Thank you. All right, Harrington, five in a row is plenty, so let's get to work. All right, that's 700 apiece on the platinum and an ace each on the necklace. All right? Well, you should have argued with the fence, Nicky. When my dad was alive, he did better. It's tough, Hannah. The papers are full of it. Well, you still should have argued. One night I saw my old man reach over and put the Jap choke on a fence. He huh? raised the price uh, the, the over. What, dear? The Jap choke. I'll show you sometime, Stanley. Remind me. Got a new deal coming up, Nicky? That's what I wanted to discuss, Hannah. I think now we quit. We what? I told you in the beginning it couldn't be for long. Even now, the district attorney might suspect the Regency Club. In a pig's eye, he might. Why should he? He can't think it is just coincidence all five times we get a hall, they are having dinner at the club. Yes, and at one of my tables. Why not? It's, it's the ritziest joint in town. Yeah, and you're the most popular head waiter. Uh, Hannah, look, could I say something? Not I'm now. It's too good to give up, Nicky. You know that. But now, don't... I haven't finished. Look how simple it is. You watch your regular customers, make a list of the furs and hey, stuff. Look, Hannah, what Will I you trying... be quiet? They even make it easy, Nicky. They sign their dinner checks, we get their address. I know all that. Well, what could be sweeter? The night Mrs. Richwich leaves something big at home, you call us, we get dressed up, go over with the passkey and get it. I'm trying to tell you the DA has asked to see all the Regency Club employees tomorrow for questioning. Well, let him question. Turn on the head waiter act for him, baby. He won't understand a word you're saying. Hey, look, Hannah, In a I minute, wait, wait. Stanley. As long as we look good to the doorman, yeah, and can work the locks while we're in, Nicky. Now, what are you yapping about? Well, uh, uh, I think Nicky is right, Hannah. We could quit now and get a nice house in the country. What? Oh, you should see the plants I got, Nicky. I'm going to do the whole kitchen myself in pine. Stanley. With built-in sink and cupboards, Nicky. You know... Yeah, dear? Get lost. But I was Beat it, will you? Go... go down to your workbench and whip up a birdhouse. All right. As a matter of fact, I will. <sighs> well, excuse me, Nicky. Uh, sure. Go ahead, Stanley. You know, one of these days, Hannah, you'll go too far. You don't treat Stanley very nice, Hannah. Oh, why should I? He's happy with a chisel and a bucket of nails. It's good for a man to have a hobby, I suppose. Maybe. What's yours, Nicky? Mine? Sit still. I'll light us a cigarette. Stanley is, um, in the basement? Here. Yeah, he makes things. You're not smoking? One's enough. I'll take drags off yours. Good Lord. What is that? So help me someday, I'll hit him with his own hammer. Stanley, turn that thing off, you big headed jerk! Stanley! What was that, dear? I said turn that thing off! Well, it was just my power, so Hannah, I'm sorry. I don't care what it was. You make that racket again, I'll wrap it around your skull. Heaven is rent. Now, let's see, where were we? And uh, about pulling any more oh, jobs. Oh, we'll pull more jobs, Nicky. You know we will. We got lots to do, you and me. Come on, honey. Sit down, make yourself at home. You know, it can happen to anyone, even to you. Tonight or tomorrow, you may get one of those dull headaches that leaves you feeling miserable and out of sorts, and all just because you need a laxative. So remember, like millions of others, you too can get gentle relief with Sal Hepatica. A glass of sparkling Sal Hepatica gives you gentle relief, welcome relief day or night. Sal Hepatica, taken when you get up, brings gentle, speedy relief. Usually within an hour. And at the same time, if you're troubled with excess gastric acidity, Sal Hepatica sweetens your stomach. So get a bottle of Sal Hepatica. 
America's most famous saline laxative at any drug counter and keep it handy. Then, day or night, get feeling right with gentle, sparkling Sal Hepatica. The laxative that suits your convenience. Sal Hepatica. Now, as I understand it, Mr. Sylvania, there are several head waiters at the Regency Club. Is that right? Antonio, Frank, Luigi, and that is myself, Nicky. Nicky, I see. Uh, you know Mr. and Mrs. Mallory, do you, Nicky? Pardon? I don't need to tell you that we're working on a series of robberies, do I? Mr. and Mrs. Mallory were at the Regency Club and the night their apartment was entered. So? Oh, that is too bad. You do remember them? I remember all of my good customers and never forget. I see. And the Fultons? Fulton? Yeah, let's try some of these other names. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Fulton, Mr. and Mrs. Owen Conroy, Mr. and Mrs. Addington, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Sims. You know these people, do you? But I have told you, I know all of my customers. Please, I work very hard. I have done nothing, nothing. Well, there's no reason to think you have. I'm merely interested in your cooperation. Pardon? I say, if you can help me, I'll appreciate it. Oh, any time at all, sir. A yes. pleasure. Ah. You come to the club for dinner. I will Let... arrange it personally, sir. Let... Yes, we start with bouillabaisse, a chicory salad with romaine, a crown a roast a lamb. Yes, yes, that'll be very nice, I'm sure. Oh. Pardon? You, um, you may go now, Mr. Sylvania. If I need any more help, I'll call. Oh, you are most kind of Mr. District Attorney. Merci, merci beaucoup. All right, don't mention it. Uh, Dorothy, if Miss Miller and Harrington are finished in the other room, ask them to come in here, will you please? Oh, they are. Oh, fine. Thank you. Come in. Yeah. I just called Dorothy to see if you were free. Oh, sure. oh, yeah, sure. I'm free and losing my mind, Chief. Those waiters talk everything but English. Harrington isn't kidding, Chief. I don't know whether I was taking notes or ordering dinner. <laughs> yes, yes. I had a little difficulty myself. Oh. <laughs> I got this much, though, Harrington. Yeah? In every single case, the people who were robbed dined at the Regency Club the night it happened. Yeah, I got that too, Chief. I have the notes on it. Well, all right. There's our pattern, then. So let's see what the pattern makes. <laughs> The name is Phillips, Hannah. Mr. and Mrs. Austin Phillips. They've been customers of mine for years. How big a score? I haven't got it set yet, but it looks fine. Every time she comes in, she's wearing a different coat. Rocks? There must be dozens. Diamond bracelets, rings, solid gold cigarette cases. It's uh, very nice. <laughs> and you wanted to quit. Aren't you glad I talked you out of it? I'm glad about a lot of things, Hannah. The only worry is... I know, Stanley. He would care, would he? If he knew about us? What if he does? I hope you know how to handle him. Oh, don't worry. I do. Like a baby. Hey, uh, Hannah, did you see my crosscut saw? I had it just as... Ah, oh, Nicky, I'm glad you're here. It's a good to see you, Stanley. Uh, you're looking for us all? Oh, no, that can wait. I haven't even told Hannah, but I've been waiting to talk to you. Both of you. So, but... It is so late, Stanley. Some other time. No, I, I really must be gone. Hold it, Nicky, and drop the accent. You want to talk about what? Sandpaper? Oh, no. No, I, I've, been, I've been thinking, Hannah. With what? Now, look, I warn you, don't treat this lightly. Oh, I, I let you have your way, I know, but this time I'm serious. Hey, Stan, old man. Let Maybe him say it, Nicky. Well, I mean, all this here in the papers, the employees of the club being questioned and all... I've come to a decision. I'll be a monkey's uncle. About what? We're quitting, Hannah. Not after the next one. Not tomorrow or the next day, but now. You kill me, Stanley. Go back to your birdhouse. No, no, no. I, I, I mean it. We got, we got money now. Well over $3,000. Well over 30 cents is more like it. Look, Hannah, I happen to know. What's more, with the money, we, we could buy a nice trailer. A nice what? Second hand, I think. If it needs attention, I could fix it up. Hey, did you ever see the inside side of a trailer, Nick? 
Me? All you can do wonders with a hammer and a nail, snug as a bug in a rug. Are you through now? No, no, Hannah, I'm not. Of course, it won't be like a house in the country, but that will come in time. Now, listen to me. In a me, moment, you... in a moment. It has, uh, it has advantages, you know. Travel about, meet people. You know, I've always wanted to see Yellowstone National Park. Just see it? And comfort, of course. You can have that in a trailer, Hannah. You can. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I thought a heavy gingham of some kind at the windows, you know, gives all the privacy in the world. On wheels. Oh, now, look, Hannah, you needn't be flipping. After all, half of what we've taken in is mine. All right, brace yourself, Buster. I've got news for you. Uh, perhaps I should go. Just stay put, Nicky. He just don't know the time of day. I think I do, Anna. Yeah, well, Mr. Trailer, we ain't got any three grand. At this exact minute, we ain't got a lousy 200 bucks. What did you say? What do you think I've been playing the races with? Shavings? You're lying. Am I? That's Nick. I'm sorry you lost so much, Hannah. Well, I'm not. Easy come, easy go. My old man taught me that. Oh, you thieving little swine! Hey, no. Hannah, are you hurt? Hannah! Oh, look, Hannah, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. I, I just lost my temper. Get out of my way, Nicky. Hannah, I said I didn't mean to slap you. Hannah, be, be careful. You Come here. Let me go, Hannah. Hannah. Stay out of this. Hannah, please, you're hurting me. Yellowstone Hannah. National Hannah. Park. Hannah, let go of my throat. How do you oh. like this gingham, huh? How do you like this? And let go of his neck. You don't know what you're doing. Don't I? He... He's dead? He should be. The Jap choke works every time. The one your father taught you. Pop taught me a lot. Like... Like easy come, easy go, Nicky. Remember that, will you? Now that you're going to hang around. All right, Harrington. I've seen enough. Hmm? Have one of the men throw a blanket over the body. Yeah, all right, Chief. You agree with me? Yes, yes, there's no question about it. Death due to strangulation, I'd say. Uh, the medical examiner's on his way. Good, Mr. Spinner. How would you say the body got down here in the railroad yards, Harrington? Ah, oh, it was brought here. There's no sign of a struggle on the ground. Yes, yes, that's my idea, too. And in a car, I think. Sure. If he'd been hurled from a train, he'd never have landed over here. Oh, excuse me, is there any preliminary identity? I have to make out the card. No, not a thing so far, Miss Miller. I see. Harrington? Well, it don't look like there's going to be much either. Mm. Nothing in the pockets, labels torn out of his suit and clothes. Yes, yes, I noticed that. Sure, they even tore the laundry marks off his shirt, looks like. Yes, and took his ring. Yeah. As you can see, the line on his finger where he wore one. Ah. Well, I still don't buy it as a plain mugging. I doubt that, too. Especially when identification's been so carefully destroyed. Yeah. You know, the neck is what gets me. Hmm. How do you die like that? Oh, excuse me. The examiner's arriving up on the ramp. Oh, thank you, Miss Miller. Well, let's let him get to work, shall we? This one may be more of a puzzle than we know. Hello? Anna? Nikki? Any news? Ah, oh, forget it. I've been waiting for the call about the job. Mr. and Mrs. Phillips are here in the club now. Oh, wonderful. They just ordered dinner, and they want to make an 840 curtain at the theater. Oh, what a break, Nikki. She isn't wearing the chinchilla, is she? She's wearing the mink. The chinchilla must be at home. I'll have it in one hour. Be careful, baby. They have a butler, you know. He may be home. Just so that coat's at home, honey. That's all I need to know. <laughs> I beg your 
Was the door open? Mrs. and Mrs. Phillips are not at home this evening. If you'll just... You got any more questions, bud, or can't you talk? No, thank you. Tell Mr. and Mrs. Phillips I'll be out at three. Yes, thank you. Chief, can't we do something with those reporters? They're tearing their hair outside. Well, not for the moment, I'm afraid, Harrington. Any reports from the morgue, Miss Miller? Uh, yes, sir, just now. Yes? Dr. Colgan finished his examination of the Phillips butler. And? The same as the man in the railroad yards. Death due to strangulation. The same discoloration in the neck? Oh, he didn't say. He's sending up his report. Well, tell him not to bother. I'm going down to the morgue. All right. You want me, Chief? Well, I want to set up something else first, Harrington. I got all I needed from Mr. Phillips. Yeah? Not only have all the victims in these robberies had dinner at the Regency Club, but it seems they all had the same waiter captain. Which one, Chief? Well, fortunately, Miss Miller, one you and Harrington didn't see. Oh? As for the two whom you did question, I'm arranging to have them take a vacation. I don't get it, Chief. What's the plan? Well, one that might work, Harrington. However, it's going to take a long time. Dentists say the Ipana way works. Yes, dentists say the Ipana way works. In thousands of reports from all over the country, eight out of ten dentists say the Ipana way promotes healthier gums and brighter teeth. Listen, here's the professionally approved Ipana dental care, the Ipana way. First of all... Between regular visits to your dentist, brush all tooth surfaces with Ipana toothpaste at least twice a day. And then... Massage gums the way your dentist advises. Remember, Ipana's special formula actually helps stimulate gum circulation. Yes, for healthier gums and brighter teeth, the Ipana way. Dentists say the Ipana way works. Ipana toothpaste with a sparkling flavor that leaves your mouth fresher, your breath cleaner. Ipana, the toothpaste more dentists personally use and recommend than any other. So ask your dentist about Ipana and massage. A good dentifrice, like a good dentist, is never a luxury. Make the Ipana way your way to healthier gums, brighter teeth, and Ipana smile. Get Ipana toothpaste. Right, so I had to take care of the butler. We got the coat, didn't we? It won't be easy to get rid of Hannah. The fences all say chinchilla is too rare. It takes time to dispose of it. All right, so we do another. Now? But we... All right, all right, hold it. Sure, it's getting hot, Nicky. I know that. Very hot. And I agree, we should quit. Go somewhere, like you said. But that is just what I'm saying, But Hannah. we can't go without dough, can we? You just said it'll take weeks to get the cut on the Phillips coat. But I... So we do just one more, Nicky. One big one, and we go. Now get somebody lined up, baby, and we're free. Good evening, sir. It is a pleasure to see you again this evening. Well, what do you know about that, Edith? He remembers us from last week. Oh, how nice. It is a pleasure, Mrs. Johnson. And if I may say so, sir. Yes, uh, a Nicky, wasn't it? A Nicky, sir. Good. And the management has suggested that if you wish to sign your dinner checks, it will be a pleasure. Well, well, now, isn't that nice? Just sure. Send the bills to the apartment, Nicky. Apartment 20, the Westport Arm. A pleasure, sir. Good. May I suggest oysters for Madame to start? The peconic salts are excellent. No, I think a hot consomme, please. It's been so cold. Oh, Harry, would you mind? I'll just put my mink over my shoulder. Oh, allow me, madame. Oh, thank you. And a hot consomme. Yes, please. It will be a pleasure. Was the venison all right, Mr. Johnson? Oh, my favorite meat, Nicky. Even better than last week, uh, well, my dear, are you ready to go? Yes, Harry, we ought to get home. Oh, will you ask Nicky to get my coat, please? It's the sable there on that chair. For tonight, Mr. Johnson, may I suggest the rack of lamb? Well, it sounds good, Nicky. 
Oh, dear, oh, dear. Did we have lamb here the other night, dear? <laughs> well, Harry, anything that won't take too long. We haven't much time, you know. May I inquire if you are attending the theater again this evening? <laughs> oh, gracious, no. <laughs> Not dressed like this, Nicky. Mr. Johnson insists on going to the boxing matches. Well, you're going to like them, dear. It's a great card tonight. Probably last until midnight, but it's worth it. <laughs> well, thank goodness I am dressed for it. If anyone mauls this old thing, I just don't care. It's all set, Hannah. They're gone to the fights, and she's left all the furs at home. Remember now, the Westport Arms, apartment 20. I'll be in the car in front when you're through. <laughs> Waiting for what? you. Why, you... <coughs> all right, all right. Now, just stand perfectly still. Oh, my wrist, you've broken my wrist. I don't doubt that. It's the only way I've learned to break that choke. Me? Yes, in here, Harrington. All right, Nicky. Oh. Come on, this is enough, please. How dare you? Hannah! I can't stand the pain. Get a doctor, Miss Miller, will you please? Right away, Chief. Well, a clean sweep, eh, Harrington? It's looked like this time they've ordered the full meal. Here's a faster, better way to relieve pain. A new product that acts twice as fast as aspirin. The name is Bufferin. Remember that name, Bufferin. It acts twice as fast as aspirin. Now you can get faster relief from your headaches, pains due to colds, neuralgia, and minor muscular aches with Bufferin. Remember that name, Bufferin. It acts twice as fast as aspirin. You see, Bufferin is absorbed twice as fast into your bloodstream, so it goes to work faster to relieve pain, and gently, too. And because Bufferin tablets are antacid, they will not upset your stomach. Remember that name, Bufferin, at drug counters everywhere. Bufferin acts twice as fast as aspirin. <laughs> Now, with the explanation of tonight's case, here is your district attorney. It's a pleasure to report, ladies and gentlemen, that with the arrest of Hannah Price and Nick Sylvania, we brought to an end the unusual wave of robberies. Both Hannah and Nicky will pay the full penalty demanded by law for the murders of the Phillips Butler, as well as Hannah's husband, Stanley. Golly, that was one assignment I liked, Chief. Uh, I've never eaten such good food in my life. <laughs> yeah, and oh boy, did you look swell in all those furs that you rented, Miss Muller. <laughs> Why, thank you, Harrington, but of course I look good in just uh, anything. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Well, it was certainly good work, Miss Miller. You and Harrington sent Hannah right to the apartment where I was waiting, simply by displaying those furs. Yeah, and when we got there, we picked up Nicky and front of the joint chief. Yes, actually, it was Hannah's peculiar method of choking her victims that helped, Harrington. Yeah, that's the Japanese choke, brother. That one's the works. Yes, it nearly always kills, and without as much effort as is sometimes needed. Fortunately, it leaves a characteristic discoloration of the neck, as well as abrasions on the lower jaw. And uh, you saw those in the morgue, chief? Yes, I did, Miss Miller, on both Stanley and the butler. And that's why I was ready for Hannah when she tried the Japanese choke on me. Yeah, and you can thank the Army Service for that, huh, Chief? Right. Bring your arms down hard and you can break it, sir, and break the case, I'm glad to say. I'll say so. Oh, Chief, what about next week? Well, our case for next week is one of the most vital in our files, ladies and gentlemen. One which lays bare a vicious crime now being committed against all of us. It's the case of Send the Homeless. And I invite you to join us for it. But until then, thank you. And good night. The names of all characters in tonight's dramatization are fictitious, and any resemblance to names of living persons or actual places is purely coincidental. Our stars were Jay Justin in the title role, Len Doyle as Harrington, and Vicki Vola as Miss Miller. 
The music was under the direction of Peter Van Steeden. The program is produced and directed by Edward A. Byron and written by Robert Shaw. Mester, District Attorney, was originated by Phillips H. Lord. Remember, I pan a toothpaste for the smile of beauty, Sal Hepatica for the smile of health. Bristol Myers invites you to tune in again next week for Duffy's Tavern and Mr. District Attorney. Thank you.